Hi, welcome for our online training sessions. In our previous session, we have discussed what are the different tools we will be using when we are working with Oracle applications, technical, that's what we have discussed. In this session, we are going to discuss how to create our own username and password and what are the responsibilities are required, what is meant by responsibility and what is AOL. That is what we are going to discuss. Okay, so once we join in the project, once we join in the project, generally what DBA will do, DBA will create username and password for us. You will give, create a username and password and you will give it to us. Then what we have to do, we have to log in and we have to check AOL access is there or not. Application, object, library, AOL access. We have to check. Okay, if we have the AOL access, then we can start development and customization of customization of all our rice components. All our rice components we can start. Okay, so as soon as we join in the project, either our team leader or our DBA will perform this activity. He will create a username and password and give it to us. Okay, but still we have to know how to create our own username and password because uh, when we are working in the support projects, sometimes client will ask us to create a username and password for their employees. Let's say a client uh, is having around 10,000 employees. All those employees does not require access to Oracle applications. Now client is telling out of 10,000, I have around uh, 2,000 employees are uh, working as an IT. Okay, so they need the access. They need the access. So in that scenario, we are supposed to create this credentials, username and password we are supposed to create and we must know how to add the responsibilities and other options. Okay, so that's what we are going to discuss here now, how to create credentials. Let me close all these tools because uh, it will be very easy in the initial stage as we are in the starting of the sessions, practical, okay? So I'm just trying to close this all applications. Again, open it. Close, let me log out from here. Close. Now, let me open the first application through Internet Explorer, or we can use Mozilla application also, or Google Chrome also. Better comfortable is Internet Explorer is okay. We have built-in username called operations, password called welcome, login, select application developer, any, any responsibility first to open the page, first to open any one of the page. Okay, so now go to system administrator, yes, just enter yes, we will get the responsibility name starting with yes, system administrator. So system administrator will be used to create the users. Here we are going to create security. We have to go to security, user, define. Double click, we have to do the double click. So here we are going to enter credentials here. Let me go for enter the credentials here. I'm going to enter the username as Smith, password, re-enter the password, description, save this what we have done right now we just created the user called smith and uh, after that we have not added any responsibilities here we have not added any responsibilities here without adding the responsibility nothing but access if you have the access to the application means if you have the access to the responsibility you can perform some transactions create employee, hire employee, create invoice, create customer, calculate tax, calculate discount, whatever business transactions are there that we can go for perform, here it is. Okay, so right now I just created a user. Now I'm going to add the AOL access. What is AOL? AOL stands for Application Object Library. It is a combination of two responsibilities. One is system administrator another one is application developer 
these two responsibilities, whenever we combine, we call it as a AOL, Application Object Library. We call it as AOL, Application Object Library. Okay. So by using system administrator, we can develop the reports. We can develop the programs. We can develop the flex fields and value sets and other things. We can do it by using application developer. We can develop the forms. We can develop the menus. We can develop the profiles. We can develop the flex fields. These all are a part of our development. When we are working with uh, technically development, these all will be using. So this is for uh, reports and programs, and this is for our forms, right? So whenever we are working in the project, we need access to the AOL. Without AOL access, we cannot do any development or customization. Okay. So AOL is nothing but two responsibilities, system administrator and application developer. Okay. Let's connect to the applications here. I'm assigning here system admin press tab. If you press the tab, it will show the list of values which are having similar, let me just go down here. System administrator, yes. Select, save. Transaction complete, one record applied and save. That's fine. Second, one more. APPL, press tab. Or you can press LOV also. Select this, save. Whenever we are working with Oracle application forms, there will be a three types of colors in the form pages, right? So here we can see white color, here we can see yellow color, we can see that gray color. Three colors will find. Yellow color, sorry, white color means it's optional, not mandatory. Yellow color means it's mandatory. We must enter the data, otherwise you cannot save the record into the database. Gray color is nothing but read only. You cannot perform any activity against this field. You have to just read the data. You cannot perform any update or delete or insert option in this particular field. You can just read the data over here. Now, what we have done here, we created a user account. For that user, we added the AOL, Application Object Library. AOL access is there. Application Object Library, we have done it here. Okay, so now, right now we are in the access of operations user. How to find which user we are logged in help menu about Oracle applications. It is showing that current user is operations user. Current user is operations user. Okay, but we created new account, right, called Smith. We created new account called Smith. Okay, so we have to log out and log in. I wanted to log in with Smith user. Close this, file, exit from Oracle applications, close from here, log out from here. I'm going to log in as a new user, Smith. Enter the password. Very first time, it will ask us to change the password because this password is manually generated by DBA. So DBA knows our password. This password is not system generated. DBA has set some password to us manually. That's why system is asking very first time, change your password. Re-enter re the password. Now we are going to submit. Now we can find here which user has connected to the application, Smith. And we can find what access we have given. We given the permission for AOL, two responsibilities, application developer, system administrator. Application developer and system administrator. Nothing but it's AOL access. Nothing but it's AOL access we have provided. Okay. So application diagnostics we have. Application diagnostics. That is just to maintain the information between the transactions, whatever user transactions are happening, there only we are performing over here it is. That's anyway not required. These two things we have to remember, application developer and uh, system administrator, okay? This is about the 
responsibilities which we have application developer and system administrator okay now user can open the pages in application developer and start development of the forms in system administrator development of reports and programs reports and programs so this is how we are going to create our own user account after creating how to assign the responsibilities to the user nothing but uh, aol access we'll be able to add some other also but we have added okay so we have added over here it is application diagnostics we can completely forget about that that is internally to just maintain some information mainly two responsibilities are important we are going to work application developer as well as system administrator Okay, thank you.